What's going on YouTube? It's me, Austin here from uh, Hoops on X4 Productions. Now, I do apologize if I haven't been uploading lately, mainly because I have ran out of stuff to review. Now, I got this. Um, my, if you guys are wondering what happened to my white one, well, it won't work anymore. Uh, I think I accidentally yanked out the cord that connects to the battery to the circuit board. So, this one's already been opened. But I thought I would show you this box. Now I got I think I might have got the older version because I didn't get the uh this square box. But this one's a rectangle shape. Everything is the same as far as electronics go. Um it, for whatever reason mine came with the battery. It came it came with a uh a uh a five hundred milliamp hour battery for longer flight times. So I don't know how that got in there. And you have the uh, the regular standard 200 milliamp hour. You have the quadcopter itself, and then you have the controller. So let's see what's in this box here, and see if anything has changed from the previous uh, generation. I got red this time because uh, they ran out. They didn't have any white ones or black ones uh, with with Amazon Prime, so I was stuck with the red one. Um, I flew this thing one time and it flew very, it flew great. Um, I got the same amount of fly time around seven minutes, but since they included a 500 milliamp hour battery, I'm able to get, uh, maybe 13 to 14 minutes of flight time, 13 or something like that. So here's the controller. And then down here you have your charging cord to charge the battery. It takes around 45 minutes to charge and you get around, as I said, with a stock battery, you get around seven minutes of flight. With the 500 milliamp hour battery, you get around uh, 13 minutes of flight. So, um, so I guess that's about it. Um, SEMA is in fact the Chinese company, but they make the most highest quality products. In fact, I've got their SEMA S17G helicopter, which came out back in 2010, and that thing flew like a champ. It lasted a long time, and I'm still flying it. Well, not as much anymore. Um, it's still, it, my current one that I use, my two ones that I bought, the red one, which was, in fact, a counterfeit, um, I needed to uh, get a... That one is good, but I need to get a spare battery for my real genuine yellow quad, or helicopter, S-107G. Um, so here's a little close-up to the quadcopter. It looks very futuristic looking. Um, it does have the four rubber landing feet, and these can come off if you crash land, so make sure you have spares. You can't find any spares online, so if you do have a quadcopter that's not working, make sure you, you can use these to put extra landing feet on. If you don't have rubber landing feet, when it takes off, it's not going to be very even. Um, here's a quadcopter. I love that red. Um, I've been wanting to get a red one for a long time, but um, there you go. It does have four LEDs. The front, uh, the back are red. Uh, let's see which one. I think, yeah, the front is red, or the front is, or the back is blue. Okay, these back here, these uh, back ones are blue, with the front ones are red. Um, the controller requires four AA batteries, which are not included. But there's really no big of a deal buying batteries. Just it would have been nice if SEMA would have included batteries for the quadcopter. It's just I don't know. It's, I wish that they would include some batteries because batteries they uh, they are very expensive, and it's a good thing that this one doesn't charge for the controller. Um, so you can USB it, so the batteries will last a long time. Which is one of the reasons why I love this quadcopter, and plus the S17G helicopter that came out back in 2010. That hel that uh, helicopter uh, was able to be charged uh, not from the controller, but you can charge it from the computer. So now your batteries in there will last twice as long to uh, reduce operation cost. So anyway, so that's my uh, unboxing here, and I guess that's about it. Um, 
one thing I like this, one thing I like most about this box is there's plenty of room to put stuff in. You, you can, uh, there is enough room to put an extra battery in here if you want to. Um, of course, with the other, but the other box, the the second generation of the of the SEMA X11, that one did not have enough room for anything. But this one was a lot more bigger. You can you can put more stuff in, and there's just plenty of room. Um, of course, I don't know if you're able to fit one more quadcopter in here. You probably won't be able to. But um, anyway, that's my review. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I will have a flight video. Actually, plenty of light videos or flight videos coming out.